In this next segment, we're going to draw the broad seaming. We're going to start down at the foot of the sail and work our way towards the head. So right now we're starting with the longest foot panel and we've already marked our maximum point of camber and we're going to put some picks in, bend the stick and start putting it together. We're going to show the pick going in at the left and you want to install this pick right on your cross hatch mark where the seams overlap. So if you look closely, our stick is going to line up right with that line at the left. This is the left of the sail. This, this point here is the tack. Back at the clue, because of the way we're bending the stick, the pick goes on the opposite side of the stick. Now our mark is here, and the pick is on the other side. And you'll see when we bend the stick why, why that is. One thing you can also note here is because we've already shaped this panel with the foot taper, it's causing our seam up here to curve. So what you have to do with the foot taper is fold up the foot taper. And you'll notice as I roll the foot here, this panel will suck back under the stick just a little bit. A pick just behind your roll will keep everything in place. Now here was our point of maximum camber and I'll get a ruler and we can make our 5 8 inch mark for this bottom seam. In this foot seam there's a positive 5 8 of an inch of shape. So this was our original straight line mark and I'll make a mark 5 8 of an inch in from that we're going to go ahead and bend the stick. So to get our camber in the proper position as you bend the stick, it makes a big difference of where the stick is bent. Now, this, is, this pick is kind of our pivot point. So if you bend the stick close to the pivot point, it puts a lot of curve in the front of the sail, a lot more round up towards the left. It also moves that point of maximum curve up further forward. If you bend further away from the pivot point, it creates a different and more shallow kind of curve, a little bit of a straighter entry. So I found the right point on my stick. So I have our maximum camber at the, at the point right here, and I found by holding the stick right here, it's just perfect. Sailcloth really wears out your pencils fast, so you'll need a lot of pencils and a pencil sharpener. We're going to apply the sticky tape right along the edge of our seam. If you want a very traditional look to your sails, you can leave the seam allowance in your sail. Um, but we're going for a more modern look, so we're going to trim, the, trim it off and make it even. And uh, it's the same process on every seam as far as where you put your picks, um, how you draw the curve, because we're drawing the same curve, just it's getting shorter and shorter as we move up the sail.